Uh, hi, good afternoon. I'm Caroline. I'm uh, one of the research and clinical skills trainers at the Royal Dawn Hospital. Um, and we, what I'm going to, our poster and our sort of project is about implementing the ASPIS on the framework. So, a little bit of background <coughs> is that we've got a, a research and clinical skills training department. We've got 16 um, research and clinical skills trainers. We don't just do simulation, we do everything. So, resuscitation trainers, a lot of us are APLS, ALS instructors. We've we run ATLS, we run A courses, we run ILS, PARS. I could go on, the list is this long. So, we're not just a simulation. But we, are, we have a facility, or two facilities, within a big department. So, uh, we do have admin support as well. We've got uh, a clinical simulation lead and clinical advocates as well. So, <coughs> but everything we do incorporates some element of simulation. Be it a part task training, be it the laparoscopic stuff, be it full days simulation, be it just having a medical student say, I just need to do a chest exam. So, there's, everything we do is simulation. So when the ASPI standards came out, we were like, yeah, this is great. We, we're going to we're going to take this on board, we're going to do this. Um, so we had a little look at the full page. We were involved in that, how many standards there were initially, I can't remember what. 71. 71 was there, yeah. Looked at them and But worked through them and we were involved in that, that consultation process. Um, and as the standards developed, we then, which is actually this point now, so we will sort of feedback to the team about, you know, this is what it is, this is what we think we need to do, do you think this is a good idea? Based on patient safety, quality assurance, and good education. <coughs> so, yes, so a big team of people, yeah, yeah, this is great, this is all they will do, this is for some volunteers. Um, got four volunteers, including myself and the right? um, to start this process. Where did we start? How on earth did we start? So we started with looking at the equipment. So we're a big department, we do a lot of sim. We had we have shed loads of equipment. A lot of it was in boxes that was covered in dust and we've got casuals and pens and repartis. So it was very old, probably we didn't use it hundreds of many years. So a lot of Cataloging, Excel table spreadsheets that are you know, so created, etc. Quite a lot of work. However, as part, as part of this process, we do have a technician. Uh, unfortunately, our technician is uh, divided between three departments. So us, undergraduate and postgraduate education. He does not have simulation in his job title. The reason being for that is that they were able to pay me less when we were recruiting. He didn't catch up the simulation in the So he's literally check all trades, put stuff in it. There is no dedicated simulation. So, as we're going through the process, we did get quite despondent at times. However, going through the process, we did identify that we have got some good, robust systems in place with regards to faculty development training days. However, on those faculty development training days, we have we don't follow those up. There's no peer reviews. So how do we get that in place? We've got this big team of people. Um, the technician's role, as I already alluded to, is is not a simulation technician. It's he's just a, a, a ripper and a pusher, and he has no capacity to do it anymore. So there's no job job progression. There's no career development. You will not stay. You've had four in four years. So it falls to the rest of the team, in addition to the other So we've got some big, big problems for us. Um, we looked at the, um, the education material that we've got, so we looked at the simulations. Um, they're very haphazard, quite often it's out of date. We've got no central store for them. The dates of birth are interesting, to say the least. Um, so there's a lot of work that we need to do uh, to actually get ourselves to up to speed, but to even think about accreditation. Uh, quickly, the good stuff, because that all sounds really negative. It's not. We've identified loads of stuff that we need to do, loads of projects that can be used. 
And gradually we're starting to get the team on board and demonstrating that by doing and reviewing what we're doing and putting <coughs> these processes into place, we will progress, it will be easier, it will be more educationally effective for everybody that's doing it. Thank you very much. <laughs> very quick question. What's the retention of the tech stuff that the hardest standard that you worked against? Or was yes. Be, well, faculty is a problem. Um, so the te- we've got very little control over the retention of the tech stuff. It's in paid on boundary or they are paid on boundary. It's serious. Um, we've got, we are just looking now for to see if we can get an apprentice program in place, maybe just to try and manage things slightly differently. But it's a faculty. We've got a big faculty, we've got a big team, we've got a lot of clinical faculty, um, all of them have their own ideas, and we don't, we don't draw them together, we give them training, but then we don't quality assure it, we don't debrief them, there's no peer reviews, that's the biggest challenge to us. Did you find it useful to have a framework to, to, to have the conversations? Uh, massively. I, 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 they're great, and we will get there. But it's not, we, our initial enthusiasm, like, yeah, and actually, you know, there was a lot of apathy from a lot of other people after the initial, yes, this is good, and it isn't quite fixed. So it's worth your progress. It's all that. It will be accredited in one day. You know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we've already made uh, financial savings as part of the equipment structure that we now have. So just things that we didn't even know were in guarantee. Because we've got no log of them when we've paid a ride, when we bought them. But you have a £3,000 worth of piece of equipment that broke and had no idea how old it was. Oh, it's nine months. Now we can look. So can amend it, please, rather than somebody going, oh, I'm fine. So there are you know, simple things we put in place as part of doing this process. Thank you very much.